All right, so today we're going out to uh, find some good tree stand locations where I'm gonna be hunting this year on some core land. You can only get to by water. You can't access it by land at all. And um, to find a spot for my brother to hunt and show him how to set up a climber stand. I've got my hang on in the back. I've got a muddy climber stand, muddy sticks, and my muddy hang on ready to go. Seasons in two weeks, going up here now just so the weekend before I don't want to really spook anything out of there. And I'm gonna pull a card out of camera and check that. Boom! That's a good fish, Carson. We got a limit. So on opening morning, we're, we're arriving up to the spot right here, and uh, we're going to actually put the troll motor down so we don't spook anything, so put the motor, and uh, I'm going to go up in here, my brother's going to go over to another spot, which is right over there, that we're going to look at, and uh, I'm going to do a hanging hunt, I'm going to use my hang on here with my sticks, he's got the climber here, this is actually my climber, but he has the exact same motor, so gonna shoot this. this is the only spot that I really won't be able to hunt a whole lot, because I can only get here by boat, it's too far for kayak. people in that one what oh where i got my camera stolen yeah i had a camera stolen i went to check it yesterday got up there and camera's been stolen but also found a big mature buck bed and i know exactly how it's bed bedding on the south wind i'll have to come up from the back side there's a tree 50 yards from the bed i'm going to set up in be super quiet use this stand here and uh, when he gets out of that bed right before dark he's, he's got to walk right in front of me so i'm going to feel him right there all right so we just got here to the hunt spot the lake's all the way down here this basically is just this big point and around in the very front of the point it slopes way up on all sides and there's a house up there and down on the edge of it there's this bench down here and these deer travel all the way around this bench there's deer trail right here walking right down to the water and there was some doe beds down there i think they're they bedded down there one night i don't think they bedded anymore i've got a camera right here where the trail that comes this way meets with this one that comes from the water I just got the card. The camera's kind of moved around and it fell backwards, so something rubbed up against it. I hope it didn't mess up my pictures. But, um, there's plenty of good trees to do a hanging hunt in here. Like right now, the wind is blowing out of the north. So if, I, if it was like that, I think I would probably set up and just put it back here. That'd be a good tree for looking down through here. And the same thing with if it's blowing out of the south. Tree out of there. So, should be a good spot. I've got, I can hunt this spot with a lot of different winds. I, I use Onyx Hunt, and I use Google Maps a lot of times, like Google Earth, just to look at 3D. But I use Onyx to see the land boundaries, because right here, the public land starts down there at the water, and it ends about probably 50 yards up that way. And it just goes like that around the whole lake. So the public land is only right down here. All that's private all the way back there. So this is the only way you can access this public. By publicly is by the water. You can't get there to it from private land. Unless you have access. Unless they let you get to it. Which I'm not going to ask them. Because I don't think they'd be too, too thrilled with me something down here. But see this? Look at this deer trail running right through here. I have my stand set up by my camera over there. There's a trail walking. You can see it's a little bit neat out here. Let's see. Yeah, 
down this is. They're walking right through there. There's like an old logging road or something here. And, uh, they're walking right through here. See, look, see all that big rock wall up there? That's basically the edge of public and private, that rock wall. And look at this, see how open this is? deer walk right through here. And guess what? Look at all these trees. Yeah, this is where my camera's on the ground, so it's not. Where's that? Oh, that's a deer. What is that, though? Two? Well. Deer. I'm telling you, this is going to be a good place to kill those. It's loaded with them. It's got deer, but they're not big, bro. They're fine. Is that a coyote? Yeah. Okay. There's a buck. Look, there's a guy's spikes. Yep. That's the first buck picture I've had up here. There he is out there. He looks like a spike. He may have stickers on him. Look at that. What is it? It's a squirrel jumping in midair. Oh, that's full. I guess they're using these trails, huh? Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good size doe. Coon. Is that an antler? Here, let me, let me do it. Look how down to Right there. Alright, so let's see, there's a rub on that tree. Oh, they haven't rubbed yet this year. Rub on that tree. Somehow they're walking around. Look at that. That buck last year has rubbed that tree. He broke it. hang on it's called the boss these are my climbing six they're, they're the pro climbing six i've got this all set up they pack together real nice have them strapped to my stand it makes like almost no noise these clack together it doesn't make much noise at all put some tape around them yeah. some electrical tape and uh these are great for mobile hunting public land like this and just taking up and setting uh, just doing a day sit and stuff like that i'm just gonna show you this is the tree i'm gonna set up in and uh, it's a decent way to choose to cover the deer walking right through here. So if there's a little walk right through there or come right down this scrape here or anywhere right through here, I've got a good shot of And I face it this way and I need to hunt. If I'm going to sit in this tree, I'm going to have to hunt it on the wind blowing out of this way to kind of that way. Anywhere where the wind's coming this way, this way, this way, or if it's blowing that way or straight that way, I'm not even going to bother. I'll go to a different tree set up down there if it's falling that way. Hope they come down this trail. Hey, yep, that's gonna be the tree that's set in. Should be a good one. What I'll do is I'll put my climbing stick on this back side. Climb up this side and hang my stand on that side and face it down that way. I'm not gonna do that right now. Just because I don't have my harness or anything. But another thing that Location would be good. I think that sometimes those does will bed right here. 
because they got this whole point they can get the wind coming off of it right here they can just watch all out through here uh, this is a good place for them to bed this deer poop everywhere uh, and then there's a deer poop right you can find them walking right up through there right up to the where all those trails meet which I'm going to be sitting waiting for them to sit one right there Nice buck. Those are not red. Those are great. They don't even have velvet. Yeah, they already have velvet. 